Hi everybody, it's Sam with the Pink Elephant Parlor. And here is a preview of the items that I'll have on my sale this Sunday. That is August the 14th at 3 p.m. Central Time. I had promised everyone I would be doing Halloween. So here are some of the items. Well, the items that will be available. I do have a Halloween postcard tree there. Just sort of bought a little inexpensive Dollar Tree tree, Halloween tree, and put some postcards on it. So that will be, those will be available. And as you can see, there's an old um, Halloween crepe paper napkin back there. I laid it out on a cardboard so you can see the whole thing. Um, then there's some of the old um, paper, Bestel pieces there. Got a, look at that owl. I think he's freaky looking. He's pretty cool. But his head comes off and he's a basket. And then we got the little, the cat there with the pumpkin. Now that's a homemade piece. We got some pixies, some little ghosts and puppies. Mom didn't have any Halloween, so um, we do have a few other things besides Halloween. And then those are some of your, um, let's see, was it Tom Clark? And I know she's, one of them is, one's got the little Valentines, and one's got the good luck, and the other one's cleaning the pots from the kitchen. But they are also signed by Tom Clark, not just the, like, stamp where he has his name stamped in it. He actually did sign these as well. They're in the black, the, these two, that one there, and the small one. Now, the other one is just, um stamped with his signature as usual but these were actually you know inked his uh, his uh, name is inked on there and then we got a hand there that is an ashtray and i believe that's either a matchstick holder or maybe a cigarette holder and then there is one of the bedside crafts really pretty with the purple flowers and pink flowers on it. It is made in Japan as well. Really cool old mug. It is a Czechoslovakia mug. It is your orange and black. It is really cool. I thought it would be neat for Halloween. I have a whole set of your days of the week. Halloween, all hand stitched. Let's see, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and we'll go down here as Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturdays. Really, really neat little set. And let's go back up here to these pictures. I want y'all to see these pictures. These are lenticular, I believe they're called. I'll show you one at a time. But look at her. When you move it, she wiggles. Sort of gave me that Halloweeny look to it, you know. It's the old motion, moving picture-like things. Really, sort of cool. And I'll get the other one here and show you that one as well. You can see her fan moves and her hiney does too. But uh, yeah, they're pretty cool. I thought picked those up at an auction. Thought you guys may like them. A little risque, but I think they're really cool. Really, really cool. Yeah. And we'll come on across the table. There is a couple of these dishes, little crocks, the little lids and everything, like the refrigerator dishes. Wait, whoop, knocked a cat over. We got these scary cats too. I got a couple of those. I painted those and did them up for you guys in case y'all wanted some little black cats. And then I did, um, there's the other one over there. If I, it's hard to get them things to stand up on this quilt. And then there's a, one of the owls that you rest your glasses on. There's a closer look at the postcards. 
I think all of them that I've put in are dated. Um, there might be one that isn't, but I'm, I think all of them are not 100%. And then we have your Bride of Frankenstein there. Now, this is a doll that I, I made. Um, she was just one of those regular little bride dolls, you know. And I um, hairsprayed her hair all up and put a white streak in it and painted her face and everything. Same with this one. She was the little red-headed doll and I put a witch's hat on her and gave her a little wand. And then I um, put feathers on her dress with a black ribbon. She's really cute. And then up here, like I said, Mom didn't have Halloween, but she had some Christmas. So we have an Empire Blow Mode. I think it's from um, 1968, Santa Claus, and it does work. And then I found this little crocheted doll. She's got the little crochet witch's hat on. She's got a little brew bucket or pot there. She's got a black crocheted cape and dress, and I think there's even pants, crocheted black pants on underneath that too. And then I found a black and red, sort of reminded me like of a casket, um, like a vampire's casket, and I put some jewelry in it. You'll get the um, jewelry box and the jewelry. Now the little girl there, she will be separate, but You'll get all the jewelry in the jewelry box. I'll sell that all together. And then mom has some of these little um, wooden dolls. I think they're more, um, oh, India maybe or something like that. I can't remember off the top of my head here. And then mom's got this really cool photo album. It is um, for your pictures to go in. Got all the spaces for your, for quite a few pictures to go in. I thought that was pretty neat. And then I have, oh, this wall pocket here. Mom put in this Lusterware wall pocket. It is marked to Japan on the back. And then we got all these little poodles. I think she's, I think Mom's selling the three blue poodles together. And then the two pink poodles together. He's got a cowboy hat on up there. And then the little rabbits. And they're all in really good condition. And then you got your little, I think they call those Cupid puppies. And there's a trio of them. And they are Japan as well. I think they're 1930s. And then she put in this little set of Thanksgiving fall little bears. I think they're home co. And there's a little ghost scarecrow. I don't know what you'd call him. He's white like a ghost, but then he looks like a scarecrow. But he's a Taiwan piece and he's just a little um, tea light holder. And then mom's got a couple of brooches in this week. Really pretty ones. This one's got purple stones in it. It's really pretty. You can see the purple stones and then the one with the blue stones. And then mom found a couple of 1950s um, a knitting, I guess, knitting, hand knitting books. Got some neat thing. Oh, here my kitty cat. And then there's three... Um, uh, flower frogs in this week too and then these here guys these are some really old paper like crepe paper hats and I got several of those and they'll be high bidder gets to take as many as they want then there's another one of your vintage paper pieces there with the cat and pumpkin on it and I found this little black dog right there. And then these here, salt and pepper shakers. They do glow, but I do not have my um, 
white with me. Don't know what I did with it. It's uh, somewhere around here. I just uh, went and picked up from an auction today and I picked up over 80, I think, sets of salt and pepper shakers. So I will have salt and pepper shakers for days. <laughs> Oh, there's another postcard back there as well. Really neat. I like that um, skeleton one back there. Does it say, have a, have a smile with me? <laughs> Pretty cool. So this is everything that's going to be available. I hope everyone can make it. And I know we got quite a few things here, but we will get it all done. I love that cat back there. Both of them. <laughs> really cool. So, so again, it is this Sunday, August the 14th at 3 p.m. Central Time. And we will see you then, guys. Bye for now.